Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Welcome everybody. There are a few of us who arrived here at 9 o'clock. There are some of us who arrived at 9.30 and there are a few of us who are just a little bit later. Who are new here? <laughs> when you go to the levee, you're going to see this kind of levees. They're extremely big, they're extremely heavy. You see a lot of uh, people already who have been here. You see a lot of foxholes over here. You see all kinds of nice things, but you're going to inspect them yourselves and to find what you can see. I think the main objective is that we want to start with a kind of zero measurement, uh, inspection measurement. My name is Marianne Bolte and I'm so pleased to see you all here. So much interested people uh, helping us to inspect this levy for a baseline. Uh, we have divided you into six sections. Number one is going to be Wijnand and Dave. Please stand up for a sec. My name is David Trubshaw. I work for the Environment Agency in our Asset Standards and Engineering team. We are uh, near Antwerp in uh, Belgium, so today I'm here to uh, help with this Polder 2 Seas project which I've um, been asked to be a part of. So in particular today I've been asked to come and have a look at the, the levee, or as we call embankment, uh, and to get a sort of baseline of where that is. So uh, in previous roles within the Environment Agency I've done asset inspection, so uh, I've tried to bring some of the, um, the skills and knowledge I've got from, from our side and uh, in, in incorporate that in today. Uh, in, in particular, I was interested in the inspection app which uh, you use, as we too use a, a, an app, uh, but it is completely different to, to ours, so I'm quite interested to see, uh, to gain a bit more knowledge on that, and hopefully we can perhaps get the, the best of both uh, going forward. Yeah, you can even hear if you use it, you can even hear if there's a, a sand in it, it gives you a special kind of sound. The probe, yes, um, that that was that was that was something new for for, for me because we don't um, use those as a as a as a, a normal inspection tool, um, and I know you used it quite extensively, and you can see then the sort of firmness of the the um, the, the the core, the clay core under under there, and and and, so, and you can actually feel the difference within. Um, different soil types that you can feel when it gets to a sandy soil within that. So, yeah, that was something uh, new for me, which um, I, haven't, I haven't used before. It's a little bit, a bit wetter along the toe, which is unfair. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's yeah, useful to use as a marker as well. You can use it as a marker next to a patch where you can see, you know, the extent then and get, get things into perspective, into scope then. It's very neat because um, the trees also go with their roots through the uh, it's a lot of lot of a lot of knowledge in the room and a lot of skills uh, a skill base here today isn't it thank you for the opportunity to come today it's been it's been really useful we definitely want to show that it was not the, that it was the first time but we really hope to have you several times here again doing real field operational things i really want to give you all one big hand